Michael Feldman, and I came to Istanbul to get a hair transplant with Smile Hair Clinic. See you at the hotel. Hey, uh, my name is Michael Feldman. I'm uh, from Los Angeles, California. Uh, I'm 28 years old. I work in video games for a living. Uh, it's a lot of fun. My hair loss started, I think, when I started college. My dad, he is bald now. I think he was balding like in his early 20s and by 30, he like had shaved his head already. Yeah, my like at the end of college, I think when I was like 21 or 22 years old, I really started to notice uh, the hair receding in here and really thinning out in the front compared to pictures of when I was in high school and you know middle school and I had like a ton of hair and it was so thick and I always used to get compliments and um, it just started thinning out. When I was in college, I tried like minoxidil uh, oils for a little bit, but I was not doing it uh, properly. Like I wasn't as, I wasn't doing it every day. Um, and I kind of just was too busy to worry about it. Um, but other than that, maybe some shampoos that said that they promoted thicker hair. I used uh, Hims, which was like a product at one point that was supposed to help, but I didn't really notice the results that I was looking for. I was doing a ton of research from Instagram to Google and just typing in like best hair clinics in uh, Turkey and Istanbul. Um, and then I came across a Smile Hair Clinic and I noticed that my friend Mike, uh, hey big Mike, he's a YouTuber um, that lives in Los Angeles. We uh, met a couple times and we have some mutual friends and I saw that he went to Smile Hair Clinic and you know, I know him personally and I asked him uh, what his thoughts were and he had nothing but good things to say. Um, and at that point I kind of stopped talking to all the other clinics and decided that uh, Smile Hair Clinic was going to be the the doctors that I wanted to work with. All right, I will see you tomorrow at Smile Hair Clinic. I'm out. So Dr. Erdogan just drew my new hairline. It's looking pretty good. We're going to do a lot of grafts. What are we thinking? Hi, by the way, guys. Uh, we just planned for Michael's hairline and uh, his wrist pin side. So we just take the hairline a little bit lower. Uh, we just do some temple point design too. And then we will fill all the way back, with including the crown area. Uh, so we will start with the extraction the highest maximum possible extraction today, then we will uh, do these incisions uh, and implantation. It's gonna get me looking good and be looking nice. Yeah, that would be perfect for you. Thank you. So, main plan was the reconstruction of the front hairline, okay? Densifying and covering the front line. We call the horseshoe like pattern in the front side most of the time. Mm -hmm. For the temporal angle is very natural, it's slightly sharp angle. So mm -hmm. it gives you a more mature and masculine outlook. If you do it slightly more curvy, it's not a very good decision in most yeah. of the patients, yeah. okay? So for the next like 10 to 14 days, you should wash your body separately from your head. Okay, good. Okay. Pleasure to meet you. Good luck. Yep. What's up guys, it's my first washing day. Uh, I'm feeling pretty good. Everything's all clean. Uh, about to get my day started. Hey guys, uh, I chose the card before, uh, Taksim, and now we are in Taksim Square. And I'm going to choose another card now. Off to the museum.
looks like me. Uh, we were just inside, I had a lot of fun. I got to see a lot of celebrities and learn a lot about uh, some Turkish celebrities as well. Um, and now we're gonna go eat some food. Kebab. Uh, we just sat down and we're about to eat some kebab. Um, I'm very excited, I'm very hungry. Uh, Turkey's been amazing so far. It's a little hot out, but uh, keeping out of the sun. Um, and I can't wait to explore the rest of these few days as well. That's really good. It was good, I'm very full. <laughs> Delicious, not enough spice. It was good though. Yeah? This is crazy. I didn't even know how to eat it. Like Wow. Amazing. I made the whole thing. Tea. Delicious. Uh, the operation was nice. It was seamless, smooth. Um, everyone was very nice and explained everything that was going on. If I had any questions, they answered it um, well and explained it to me. And um, I think the anesthesia was the only part that was a little uncomfortable, but then after that, I didn't really feel anything. Um, I think at one point um, when Dr. Aragon was doing the incisions, I fell asleep because <laughs> I, uh, I just didn't feel it and I was tired, um, but it didn't take that long. And then um, they bandaged me up and I was out the door. Uh, the communication between the doctors and the medical team was was really nice. Uh, they talked to me every day on WhatsApp and reassured me that you know all my needs would be met and all my questions would be answered um, from the time that I landed and got to my hotel and then to the clinic and then um, back to my hotel, um, checking in on me as well and letting me know when to come in for my wash and the transfers. Um, everyone was very helpful and communicative. Yeah, I recommend Smile Hair Clinic to anybody. Uh, when I was posting on my Instagram story, a bunch of people had messaged me and asked me about it, and I told them it was great um, and that everything was awesome, so I recommend it. Uh, I love Istanbul. It was my first time in this part of the world. Um, so much history and culture. Uh, I'm trying to extend my trip right now because I want to stay longer so I can explore more. Like, the food has been great. The desserts are amazing. I've been having like tea every day. Um, I don't normally drink tea, but I've been enjoying it a lot here. Uh, it's a beautiful city. Uh, there's so much to see and so little time. So I definitely want to come back. Uh, the operation process was, was super easy. I, I went in, we drew my hairline, um, you know, shaved all my hair off, and then we did the anesthetics. Um, they got started on the extractions. Uh, I was able to have some lunch, take a little break, walk around, and then went back upstairs and we did the incisions and then we did the implantation. Uh, and then I was on my way, it was super easy. Uh, six to eight hours, I think we finished it. Um, and then I was back in my hotel that night and 
resting easy. They gave me, you know, a neck pillow and a, a list of, you know, procedures to follow. Super easy, very transparent. It's great. Two days after the surgery, I came in to get my first wash. Um, I think the most uncomfortable part was taking the bandage off because it was like tape on my neck. Um, but once that came off, it felt very nice, like all the fresh air um, on my head. And they sprayed on, you know, the foamy shampoos and uh, kind of massaged it and tapped it in. And um, then, you know, gently washed it off and my hair, my head feels clean again. Um, and they taught me how to wash it myself. So now every day I can do it myself. Uh, the first night after the operation, my head felt like kind of like a balloon a little bit. Um, it was like, felt kind of heavy on top. Uh, I pretty much had my neck pillow on and was just laying in bed. I had a bunch of uh, pillows behind me and I just had my laptop and I was watching movies. Um, and normally I sleep like on my side or on my face, like face down. Uh, but with the, with the neck pillow and the bandages and everything, I was able to kind of keep myself in one place. And uh, I slept through the night, you know, six, seven hours, and woke up feeling refreshed. And then took my antibiotics and everything and felt great.